YouTubers, hello, it's Melissa, the M of the Everyday to Bespoke Hairstyles. Are you well? Are you good? Um, I'm going to talk about what I use on my hair today. Um, but whilst I kind of set the scene, I am modeling for you right now my newest hairstyle. Do you like? Um, and as I model, you will notice that my greys are popping and I've done a posting on releasing the greys and accepting the fact that they're coming through because unlike other people, their greys come through and they're able to cover it and they just have to focus on the growth. My greys are different. My greys come through and I colour it and then a week or two later, we still have the same problem with the colour. Um, it's being stripped off and the greys popping so I'm going through a stage where now I'm saying I'm releasing the greys and leaving them to come through you can see them in the centre of my head uh, but don't don't look at the greys the greys are what they are you just look at the style it's the style I'm showing you not my greys because yes I still have issues with my greys coming through but I'm dealing with those issues okay um I always say what you can digest, um, it's great to put in on your hair. And that's, I apply this to the to my clients, our clients, and they get agrees and they get practice the same. And I apply this to my family. So I just wanted to show you what's in my cupboard. I literally just emptied out my cupboards and I wanted to show you what I've shopped um, at my local supermarket and what I normally put onto my hair. But first, let me show you what is in my cupboard. And, What's in my cupboard is what I would apply to my hair. A any of these I would apply. And then at the end, I'm going to show you what my favorite, favorite, favorite ever um, oil is. Um, so, um, everybody knows the olive. I've got this. I would apply this to my hair. Please do not ask me how much it costs because the price is very One minute you can get two for the price of one. And the next it's a different price. So, whatever deal you can find fantastic so this is one product i use on my hair another i use on my hair is and this is all of these i cook with this is my like my st staple oil for my stir fries um pure sesame seed oil i tend to use pure sesame seed oil when i'm conditioning more of a conditioning treatment like i'll put honey some sesame seed oil and a little bit of lavender um just because I love lavender. Let me show you my lavender. Uh, my lavender oil, just a little bit of lavender oil. Um, essential, essential oils are, are basically, you have to be very careful with them. This is a 100% organic one. I think I, I, I remember buying this for about 890, let's say nine pounds. Put a few drops in, um, but if you're not sure about it, please don't, don't use it. Um, I'm kind of used to playing around essential oil for years. So I put a few drops in um, to condition my hair. Um, what else did I buy recently? Me recently, pure coconut oil. Okay, so one of our clients, um, when we met, her hair was quite um, dry. And we talked to her about our regime and go to your oil department, your food department, and get um, oils and try them out on your hair. This works fantastic on a hair, groundnut oil. Um, and so it's something that I use. I've, I, this is a new bottle. I've just used the other uh, bottle and um, I can't run out of it because it, it, it works. It's just great to condition. So I'd, I'd mix this with any of my other oils. I'd mix it with my castor oil, for example. So yeah, that's in my cupboard. And I have also recently, start, recently I started using grape seed oil as well um, and love that and what is this one this is another olive oil okay and then so those are the oils um, as usual there is almond oil I use and I would use almond oil and glycerine for example as a spritz mix to spritz my hair a little bit of glycerine not a lot a little drop a few like not drop like um, in a bottle, a spritz bottle size like this, I would pour a tablespoon of glycerine and then mineral water and then almond oil and maybe another oil that I choose to mix any of the other oils that I've shown you. 
that is to keep my hair conditioned, moisture, mo it's for there to be moisture retention in my hair. Something else that I use is, and I'm lucky, I have got my contacts in Ghana, Sierra Leone, Gambia. So when they say, Mel, what do you want? Share butter. I love share butter. And that's my share butter, my organic share butter. This one's from Sierra Leone, but I've got from Ghana and from Gambia. And I would, um, when it's winter, um, the radiator's on, so I'd melt some on the radiator. I just have a pot, some wa water, and then I'll just do start doing my mixing. So share butter is something I use, um, and I use it on my skin, my hair. Um, I use it all the time. And I've just discovered, recently discovered this, virgin coconut oil, the groovy food. Smells divine. Okay, so it is um, liquidy, it liquefies. This room is quite warm. So if I showed you, it's like a white, it is kind of like a white cream, um, but then it just kind of, it's it's now fractioned, it's like, um, it's oil, liquid oil basically. So this is something I use, I use with the clients as well, and I just kind of massage it into my kids' hair and my hair. And the smell is coconut, it is what it is, coconut, and I, and I love that. So if you like coconut oil, that's an option for you. Other things that are in my cupboard that I use are eggs to wash my hair. Um, two, um, you could use them neat like that, just a couple of eggs and to wash your hair. Make sure the water is cool so that it doesn't cook onto your head. Um, and I also would condition with an egg and sesame seed oil and some honey. Um, and honey. I have in my cupboard talking about honey and this is this is finished because obviously I use it to cook to, um, for drinks for the kiddies and for my hair so this is gone but this is what I normally use I don't know whether you can see it properly this is what I normally use for hair and and body really um, and also I have obviously I always have my apple cider vinegar um, and uh, my apple cider vinegar is cleansing, basically. I would mix it with my bicarbonate of soda, and you've seen that I've got a posting out on um, on actually cleansing my hair with bicarbonate of soda. These are all in my cupboards. These are staple, because when I want to bake, the kids have indigestion, this is what I'd use. I'd mix them. If you want to understand the mix, there is a posting out that I've put earlier this year, all about how I mix my um, cleansing, my cleansing regime, basically, my liquids. Um... And um, I don't eat this, but this has become, um, I'm a fan of um, butter shine. So this has become part of my um, refreshing styling regime. So like a style like this, I would put a bit of, this yellow bit is butter shine by Be Unique. I'll put the contact details below. Um, I put a bit of water, because what you're meant to do is wet your hair and then, and then butter shine it up. Um, and it also kind of liquefies a bit and soft, softens a bit. Um, spritz with water and then apply the butter shine and then... Children, I can see you. Can you be quiet, please? Thank you. Mummy boys, they're ignoring me. Can you be quiet, please? Sit down now. At least keep it down. They're ignoring me. Right, so... Water, uh, mineral water, and a bit of butter shine, and then I just spritz my hair, and then I style it. I will try and do a tutorial on this um, style um, at some point in the near future. Right, I want to talk to you about my favorite, favorite oil, castor oil. This is pure, pure, organic castor oil from St. Lucia, and I love it. Castor oil for me is great. It's thick. This this one is thick. It's not like the standard one I normally buy from my um, local um, shops. Um, this one is, it's got a nutty smell and um, it's great. If you are having thin hair, a thin hairline, uh, castor oil is great to help bring back growth. Um, it's just great for growth. I first discovered castor oil when I continually suffered from dry scalp, even when I had my loose afro. And when I locked, it continued. 
And then I accidentally fell upon castor oil, and maybe it's because of the thickness of it. But my hair stopped flaking, and my hair feels amazing. And this uh, castor oil, I tend to use it neat, but you can mix it. If you find it's too thick, um, then I tend to mix it. But where you can get pure castor oil, if you can do, my God, it, it does the job for me. So my, my um, edges are much better for discovering castor oil, um, and I love it. Um, and that is it. That's that's the posting. Um, I wanted to show you what I would say is I would advise you to get a staple like a spritz bottle um, and do your oil mixes. And when you're making mixing, um, you might you you might know that your hair is much more water um, loves water more than oil. So you put more water. And if your hair is much of oil, fan of oil, then obviously with more oil, just just very very um, vary it. And also. Um, hair changes. The sun's out, hence I'm become more shiny now. So uh, excuse the sheen. But um, study your hair. Your hair keeps changing. Your hair's always changing, and kind of understand what we works best for your hair. I would say. Um, but get a spritz bottle. This is important. And I also have my uh, little oil bottle, and uh, maybe this one is much more water filled, and this is much more oil filled. Um, and that is my tutorial for today. I just wanted to share what's in my cupboard and how I work with my hair. And to be honest, I just would grab a mix. I would grab a mix because I'm not allergic to anything. And when I have clients, um, I'll just explain what's in there. And if something doesn't agree, then I'll mix something else, basically. But what you can eat, apart from butter shine, um, is what I apply to my hair. And that's it. Because even share butter, you can cook with it. Thank you very much for watching this posting and take care of yourself. And if you've got any questions, if you want to share anything, if anything you'd like me to cover that I'm not covering, please, 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 please contact me. Um, my contact details at the end of this posting. Thank you for watching this posting. It's Friday, so have a fab weekend. Take care of you. Bye. Ah, well, Mono Suffren SK.